Hey there, welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you've been doing good. Today I wanted to share with you guys some of my all-time favorite, go-to, basic mealtime accessories for toddlers. If you're interested in some of these items, I'm gonna try to link them down below. A lot of them I have gotten from Amazon. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm a registered dietitian with a master's degree in human nutrition, and I'm also a mom to two little boys. One is age three, his name is Desmond, and my other is about to turn two, and his name is Gabriel. So let's get into it. My first uh, item here is bibs. Not just any bibs. No. These are the, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to pronounce this. This is like a different language. I want to look, look this up. Uh, Puero, I believe is how you pronounce it. But anyway, there's three of them. And they are silicone, I believe. And you can see they are adjustable and they come obviously in different colors and stuff, as you've seen. But yep, adjustable here. And these are just great because they collect anything and everything right down here in this little pocket, this little kangaroo pouch collection uh, spot. <laughs> so uh, whether it's, again, solid foods, liquid food foods, um, it just comes down, collects here. So easy cleanup, doesn't get your kids' clothes all messy and everything. So this is just uh, the perfect item to have um, for kiddos, little ones that are, are learning to feed themselves and are, are messy, which we all know is the case for our toddlers. And these two, um, whether you hand wash them, they're very easy to wash. You can actually put them in the washing machine as well, which is something I've done a lot. All right, moving on. Uh, these, you, you might already have these or you've seen these before, but these are just these little like suction cup bowls. So uh, these are nice because they generally do suction to almost any surface. Um, anything that's like, you know, very flat, of course, um, and doesn't have, isn't like porous or anything, probably wouldn't stick to wood, uh, for example, but uh, but these are nice. Again, they hold steady on that surface. Uh, most, probably most high chairs um, would be would be perfect for these. And uh, as, as your little ones like to, they touch everything, they grab everything. My little one too would like to take a pull up on their bowl or whatever the case was, whatever was in front of them, and even dump it on the floor. So, so these are great, it helps prevent that, helps prevent the messes that can occur with feeding and uh, just keeps everything uh, secured on the, the table or the high chair for your little one. And I think too, just with, with feeding with this, when it's suction, um, it's not moving around you know, on the table when your little one, if they're trying to use a spoon or a fork, you know, is trying to, to get in their, you know, their food and um, uh, pick up their food you know, to, of course, bring it to their mouth. It, it stays still and holds steady. So that's, that's great too. Okay, moving on, more, uh, more suction devices here. These are little, I think they're silicone as well, um, but there's different, of course, different options here. A little dinosaur one, and this is just, just a basic uh, plate, or I guess plate and bowl in one. You, you could uh, use, use these for liquid foods, um, like soups or something like that, um, or of course, like solid foods. So these are, are very versatile. And again, they suction on the bottom. And I believe these are bumpkins, yeah, both these are bumpkins, and let me check. I forget what these bowls are. Munchkin, sorry. These are Munchkin uh, with a little heart there. That is the Munchkin symbol. So these are Munchkin bowls. So anyway, again, um, these stay secure on the table or the high chair. And again, you can fill them with whatever food items, keep them separated. Some of our kids are picky and they don't want their foods to touch. So this is perfect for that as well. And um, again, it's just, it's very versatile. You can put anything and everything in these. Dishwasher safe, as I mentioned, and um, just fun too. Like, look at that. Who doesn't want it? Who wouldn't want it to, to have their meals served to them in a dinosaur shaped uh, plate? <laughs> and these are pretty durable too. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see up in clo close here, but they're, um, I've actually have used a not super sharp knife, but a knife to kind of cut some of the food items. And you can see there are some little um, knife marks in there, but for the most part, these have hold, held up perfectly fine. Um, I, so I, I love these. I would definitely buy these again and highly recommend these. Alrighty, so in order for your little ones to feed themselves, they, they need utensils, right? Now, I have nothing against finger foods. Actually, 
my kids probably use their fingers more than anything when it comes to their meals and feeding themselves. So at some point, your little one is going to need to learn how to use uh, feeding utensils like forks, spoons, and knives and everything. So um, these are some ideas here. We did start out with the plastic wear, and I don't know who makes these, but you can get them anywhere. Um, start out with these, and then um, my little one who's gotten older wants to kind of use the more like adult big boy utensils so we got him some uh some silver ones here that look more realistic and more like what we would use as adults when we are um, at our meal times feeding ourselves so and the other thing too is um with these ones the, the the ones that are metal they do they're again a more well they seem to pick up the food or, or poke the food food stab the food if you want to say want to use that term um, a little bit better than these plastic ones here um, and these are kind of bendy again they're not as sturdy so um, the other thing too is my oldest likes to practice cutting things so so this utensil here of course the knife would be is a perfect safe way it's not sharp at all uh, for, for, for him to practice cutting his food as well and again now these you can see are mixed and match here we just picked up some extra forks and I believe this is, yeah, Nook. And these options here are again the, yeah, the Munch, the Munchkin brand. <laughs> okay, for our drinking liquids or smoothies, <laughs> this, um, these are awesome. Uh, I actually did pick these up just for smoothies, but they're great for any bever beverage that you serve your kids. Uh, they are glass jars and they do have these um, silicone, um, what are these called? Like holders or wraps? What is it called? I don't know. Like muffs? No, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. This is silicone to cover it, so it will help prevent it from breaking if it does drop on the ground. And um, if I take it off, it does give me the the label here, so I can tell you what, what they are, because I don't remember. Yeah, jump, uh, jump in jars. Yeah, jump in jars. Um, so, and then it has measurements on the back, so that's kind of nice, nice and handy if you need to keep track of measurements of your liquids that you're serving your kids. But yeah, these are just freaking awesome. I love these. Comes in different colors, and the straws are durable. Uh, if you have little ones that like to chew on their straws, like mine do, these will hold up, so it's perfect. And these are absolutely dishwasher safe as well and very very durable so definitely recommend these for smoothies or any beverages that your little ones like to drink okay more drinking or um, ideas these are super cheap <laughs> come from uh and they come from target actually um so i thought these are nice again for your little ones that are trying to learn how to use um an adult like cup uh plastic of course and again easy to clean just like everything else but um, I like these, yeah, because you can, um, you know, hand them to them. They're easy to hold. And of course, obviously there's no lids, so there's some risk of spilling. But these are just the perfect little um, cups for your little one to help them learn and teach themselves how to drink from a cup. Okay, and if you have little ones that are still in need of like sippy cups, um, I've tried quite a few different brands. And um, again, my little ones like to bite and chew on, on the nipples to those sippy cups. These ones here, um, obviously they're hard here and they've been able to help hold up. And again, you can see there's some like little bite marks. So there's the evidence right there that my little ones chew the heck out of their, their sippy cups. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually, I need to go out tomorrow and get more of these. So these are actually, uh, I think it's Parents' Choice. Yep, yeah, Parents' Choice. So these are um, these are from Walmart, I believe. They stock these. So uh, again, dishwasher safe, easy to clean. The little there is like a little rubber uh, nipple piece here that fits in um, underneath, and super easy. What I do when my kids come home from daycare, I just pull this pull this out, throw it in the sink throw it in the dishwasher. Um, these obviously, again, you can put in the dishwasher, so they are really easy to clean and keep sterile and all of that. And of course, they're very easy to put back on. You just push it in like so, line up the little nodes or whatever. I'm making up all, the, all kinds of words today. And you are good to, to go. 
So again, if you in, are, are in need of sippy cups and your little one likes to friggin' bite and gnaw and chew the heck out of them, these ones have held up. Okay, bowls. Again, um, these are from Target. So the same, they're actually right next to the, uh, where, the where I got the cups in, in that aisle. So again, super cheap. Um, they, they do not stick. They don't have the suction. But again, for a snack or even cereal, again, if your kiddo's trying to learn how to slurp that milk from the bowl after they're done eating their cereal. These are just a, a great, um, great option for your kids, again, to learn and teach themselves how to use um, more uh, mature feeding utensils. Again, easy to clean, which we like. Okay, so another item I don't have with me because it's too big is this table here. I got it from Amazon. Super, um, super basic, super simple, really easy to build and put together. Um, I think it's a little bit on the pricier side, in my opinion, um, if you can find it used or if you can find another little toddler table online, whatever, that is a great thing to have, again, for your little ones to sit um, at a table that's appropriate for their size and um, for them just to help learn how to sit at a table and feed themselves at that table as well. So this one that I got is very easy to clean. It's, again, very easy to build small it doesn't take up a ton of space and it also comes with two little chairs to use at that table so my kids use this table every day not just for feeding themselves not just at meal times but they also use it for craft times and you know playing with play-doh and and all that stuff okay so last but not least is the in my opinion i think one of the ultimate high chairs. I don't know. It's your Ikea high chair. This high chair is just great because it's very easy to build. It's very easy, easy to travel with, and it's very easy to clean in my opinion. So this high chair is great too because you can take it apart and throw it in your trunk and take it with you if you're going on vacation or wherever else. So it's portable. And again, the biggest thing too is the cleaning aspect. I really did think it was or it is very easy to clean um, and disinfect because there's no cloth other, th other than the straps for the um, little seat belt. But yeah, for the most part, it was pretty easy to clean, um, which is always a good thing. And there's enough surface area. I thought that was nice. There was enough surface area um, on the tray for you to be able to put little different items on, on there so it's not like super tiny. So your little one could grab for different items located on the table of the high chair. And again, this is super for affordable too. Um, I'm not sure what Ikea sells it for, but I actually got mine used for, I think it was like 10 bucks or something. And the high chair too is not like super bulky or in the way in my opinion. Um, so it doesn't really take up a ton of space. So you should be able to find a good spot in your home to, to, to store it, keep it. Um, that way it's always ready and available for your little one to use. All right guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to share with y'all some of my favorite toddler mealtime feeding accessories and utensils. Do you guys have other ideas, other products, utensils, accessories that you guys like to use with your toddlers? If that's the case, please share down below. I'd love to hear your guys' ideas. All right, thanks for stopping by today. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, stay cool, be strong, and I'll see you again in the next video. All right, take care, bye.